Hey. Hey. I, I thought I might find you here. Hmm. Trying to quit. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're trying real hard. Don't be shitty. <sighs> I wish I had my phone right now. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I never know what to do with my hands at parties. Mm. You want a day old hamburger bun? I'm all right. Um, how'd it go down there? Wanda's moving out. Oh, shit. Because of me? No, because of me. I'm sorry. Do you want to watch an episode of Horsin' Around? And watch the, the one where uh, Olivia has to do a school project where she pretends an egg is a baby. Spoiler alert! Ethan makes an omelet. Look, why won't you go home? I should. I, I, I know I should. God, I wish I could just go home and then crawl into bed and not have to talk about anything or explain anything. He would just say, how was your day? And then he would say, hey, did you know the monorail was invented by George Monorail? And I would say, I don't think that's true. And he would say, well, if he didn't invent it, he certainly perfected it. And I wouldn't have to say, I'm sorry I left. I'm sorry I made things difficult. I'm sorry I'm not the person I thought I was. I would just say, my day was good. And he would say, I love you. Yeah, but you have time. I mean, there's always later, right? Yeah, I guess there's always later. Do you remember the last time I saw you and you asked me if uh, I thought you were a good person deep down? Do I remember? Well, yeah, vaguely. You caught me off guard. I didn't know what to say. Well, do you think I'm a good person deep down? I don't think I believe in deep down. I think, I kind of think that like you are all of the things that you do. So, I mean, you're, you're not in a bad position because basically you, you can do whatever you want. You know, you're, you're responsible for your own happiness. Good Lord, that's depressing. No, it's not. Responsible for my own happiness? I mean, I'm not even responsible for my own breakfast. Okay, look, I'm not going to help you work out whatever it is. You came down here to work out, all right? I'm here to smoke. You came to me. Because I wanted to talk to you. About what? I don't know. I'm, I, I, I just wanted to talk to you. I, I, I miss talking to you. Can I ask you a question? That play in New York, would that really have made you happy? Yeah, well, for a little bit. And if Kelsey hadn't gotten fired and you had gotten to make the movie that you wanted to make, would that have made you happy? For a little bit, but, but probably. So what but does it matter? There just has to be more. What would make you happy? I don't know. Finishing my memoir, I guess. Seriously? Is that all? I mean, I can help with that. Yeah, I mean, would, would you even want to? I, I mean, you'd probably have to spend a lot of time with me and you'd probably get sick of me. I don't think that's going to happen. No? No, Bojack. But you're going to have to open up and give me something real. You know what the problem is with everybody? I mean, they all just want to hear what they already believe. Nobody truly wants to know the truth. I want to know the truth. I just don't know if you want to tell it. What, you, you think I can't open up? I don't know. I, you certainly haven't. You want to know about my parents? They drank a lot. My father was a failed novelist and my mother was the heiress of the Sugar Man, Sugar Cane family fortune and my, 
My dad resented her for it. He'd make me cry with him while listening to Cole Porter records and he even made me build a tree house, but then tore it down because instead of using good, hardy Christian nails, I used screws, which were basically fancy Jew nails. So yeah, like I said, pretty normal. I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Yeah, but what are you going to do about it? Life's a bitch and then you die, right? Sometimes. Sometimes life's a bitch and then you keep living. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice night though, right? Yeah.